Boom. What's going on, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want us to talk about ticket symbol NIO NEO. So this is a stock that we have been following here on the channel, and NEO has been making some moves. Um, as you guys know, China has been cracking down a lot on um, some of their companies, the major companies out there, and even um, trying to dictate how they would, if they should list on the, the New York Exchange or not. But uh, NEO is one of the companies where China, as, a, as the state, is actually behind them. And I can give you the good examples. Right now, NEO hasn't gone through the scrutiny that other companies are going through. They're still able to maintain uh, their position in expanding outside China, which I think it's a very uh, big thing for China. They are trying to get to the point where they can compete with other countries like the United States as far as manufacturing. And now uh, having a, a Chinese homegrown company, I think it's massive for them. So um, that's why I wanted to talk about here in this particular video. Um, again, the news here is that NIO has signed a deal uh, to facilitate sales of vehicles to China's central government agency. Um, again, this is not something that is surprising to me because, like I said, China has been really supportive of NIO and really trying to build that brand um, as a, a major car manufacturer. So China has a bunch of other companies that are in the space, uh, specifically uh, NIO here. We have Xpeng, we have Li Auto, um, and then I think there's uh, Baidu. So there's there's a bunch of them there, but NIO is again really positioning themselves. If you if you understand the company, uh, when we started talking about it here on the channel, they had uh, they started with uh, SUVs, as you can see here in this video, this ES8, and then just this year uh, they introduced their sedan, which is gonna really go against Tesla because Tesla sells in China. And so if the Chinese government, if their goal is to make sure that they expand their brand and expand their own company, what do you think is going to happen? They're not going to want to have uh, China or have the United States come in with Tesla and overtake them. So they're going to try to push it. Um, then the other thing too that uh, NEO is doing is they are expanding into Norway. So as a matter of fact, let me bring up that so you guys can actually see. So as you can see here, Neo actually has made their debut into Norway. Um, they're really doing some shipping of vehicles into Norway. And from here, it's just a matter of time for Neo to really start expanding outside Norway. So this is a major step in Neo uh, moving forward. So again, Neo is priming himself. For me, I'm a long-term investor in the company. And um, I anticipate that uh, Neo is going to continue to make moves like this to expand outside uh, China. Again, I told you guys that the Chinese government has spent billions of dollars expanding globally, expanding the Chinese brand as a country, They're expanding the brand just like you have America as a brand. Uh, China is doing the same thing. So they are, they are expanding outside uh, Asia. If you go to Africa, a lot of African countries right now have a major Chinese presence. You go to South America, similar thing. You go to the Caribbean, similar thing. So uh, the United States, in my personal opinion, is lagging behind because what China is doing, China is putting together a ground game that's, that's unbeatable. So in, if America doesn't step up, uh, man, it's going to be tough for them to compete globally uh, with what China is doing. Again, as you can see here, uh, they have their major, um, the ET7. This is a sedan that's coming out. And then obviously you can see here, there are SUVs that have been out already. And then their sports car that's also in the making. So again, uh, NEO has some really good things. If you look at the NEO house, which is going beyond just making cars, you look at NEO power, you look at NEO service, uh, and I talked about your battery swap and all that good stuff that NEO is doing. So I'm definitely thinking NEO is really priming himself to be uh, a powerhouse and the Chinese government is actually supporting them in this endeavor. So that's my personal opinion here. So what does this mean for NEO stock? I personally think that this stock right now is just consolidating. So uh, there's a possibility of this stock really um, uh, just skyrocketing. We know for sure the market is really choppy now. And so if the stock can hold within this range, uh, I mean, I'm seeing somewhere between 35 and, 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 and 45, just that range. If it stays within that range, then this is obviously a stock that you want to hang on to. Again, me, I'm holding NEO long term. So this is not something that I'm actually buying and selling. No, this is just holding long term. And I'm going to continue to buy as I see the opportunity 
opportunity presents itself. So definitely keep an eye on NEO here, guys, because this stock is definitely gonna is definitely gonna explode. As as I as I said, guys, if you are not into the stock, find that price range between uh, 35 and 45, somewhere in there, and start a position. And again, do your due diligence. I'm I'm saying this from a position of having done my due diligence. Again, a uh, recap here: Neo is doing some wonderful things. Neo is expanding outside uh, mainland China, outside Asia, into Europe. The fact that they've already gotten that footstep, because if you think of the powerhouses in Europe, like the BMW, um, again, like the Audis, and there yet you have neo coming into that market the mercedes of the world neo is coming into that market and they're coming through what i call a back door they didn't start with germany or france or the big uh the big names in europe they're starting with countries like norway and finland and then you see them expand from scandinavia and slowly get into mainland europe so that is to me a, a good thing that's going to happen to them so again let me know in the comment section what you think about it do you think neo is really the powerhouse that china is making it to be or you think oh maybe it's just another chinese company again let me know in the comment section if you're new to the channel guys we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content also guys if you're looking to get started with investing Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit five dollars you get two free stocks at no cost to you links in the description below and as always guys do your due diligence don't be a greedy savage stay motivated